The very first time I visited was to see the chemical engineering department. What struck me, the size of some of the machinery was bigger than anything you've imagined in school. My name's Simon O'Kane, um, I'm 26 and I'm just finishing a PhD in electronic and electrical engineering. I previously studied an MPhys degree also at the University of Bath and I'm about to start a research officer position which is a member of academic staff. Now, psychologists will often argue about what autism is but it's basically characterised by a larger kind of metaphorical distance between the self and other people. I can find it hard to break into friendship groups and it means I, 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 I've had to learn many of the social skills that most people take for granted. When I first met Simon he was I think quite nervous about applying to a very large uh, very prestigious university. He seemed to be aware of uh, the fact that uh, he may not necessarily fit in with everybody else and he, he needed a little um, convincing, I think, that, that he would be absolutely fine here. Well, as a person, he, he's, a, he's, he's great because he just so much engages with what he's doing and he was always the most enthusiastic and as academic staff, we always need students like that. And I think what these students um, teach us, and in particular Simon, is that it's possible to have these disabilities and just get on with life, um, if you take the appropriate positive attitude that Simon did. In terms of the, the students, they are, they are much more welcoming than they are um, at school. I found it a massive step change. Within a couple of weeks, I'd made several dependable friends on my physics course. I joined several societies at university. Uh, yeah, Simon's a really well-known face across campus. He's got a really wide circle of friends from all different walks of student life. He's never, never one to shy away from different opportunities or social occasions. Uh, so Simon's been a representative in a number of different roles. Um, too many to mention probably, but um, he's been an academic rep and a faculty rep and I know he's been involved with a number of the equality and support groups in the work, their work as well. Simon has reinforced, if anything, my, um, my view that it's, it's not about what's on the, uh, the outside or peripheral stuff, it's whether someone has the ability and the passion to study physics to a higher level. I would say go to university. It allows you to mature and develop, which is vital for, for, for students with disabilities. I would say definitely go to really immerse yourself in the subject, to get involved in, in all the intellectual and, and extracurricular activities. Having that more supportive environment has really helped me to open up and, and express myself in ways that I just couldn't before.